Well, welcome everybody. Happy Resurrection Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Resurrection Sunday. Amen. Feliz Domingo de Resurrección. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend here in Marfa, Texas. Amen. Praise yeah. God. All right. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome all of you that are joining us by audio and video. And Facebook. <laughs> Lynn, we want to welcome you. And we just wanted yeah. to say we love you. And I know you're watching, so we just wanted to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you that by Jesus Christ, Lynn is healed yes. from the crown of her head <clears throat> to the soles of her feet. You know, yeah. I want to say something right now. I told the congregation already. <laughs> if I start breaking up, <laughs> just pray for me. Amen, because that means Amen. that much to me. I don't know about you, but I told the congregation, if it don't mean that much to you, maybe we need to pray for you. Maybe you need to uh -huh. get saved. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But uh, it's not too late. And it's okay. You know how many times when I got when I got saved and I confessed Jesus, my Lord and Savior, after that, I've, I've repeated it thousands of times. So, you know, I, I every day I say, <laughs> Lord, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Man, this is the day the Lord has made. It says rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. I'm not going to be sad. Why are you sad? Uh -huh. You know, because you haven't given them no cares. Because you haven't cast it on him. He says, cast it. Give it to me. Why are you still holding on to it? Yes. You're trying to figure things out. Yeah. He said, Lord, bless these plans. And he says, why don't you take my plans? They're already blessed. Yeah. Amen. Absolutely. So praise God. Anyway, we're going to be talking about Resurrection Sunday. Amen. Amen. And uh, we want you to be blessed, be encouraged, be changed. And, you know, once in a while, he'll correct us. Why? Because he's our Heavenly Father. Yes. If he's not your Heavenly Father, it's time to make him your heavenly father amen. amen so praise god nos quiere bendecir nos quiere animar nos quiere cambiar y nos quiere corregir amen, amen. so amen. amen that means he wants to love you god amen. bible says god is love amen yes. so praise god and we, we, we're going to be talking today about he's risen yeah he's risen and we're going to talk about all these worldly gods there is <laughs> but all of them are still in the grave. Yes, yes. Our God is risen. Yes, he is. Amen. No one else can say that. He amen. rose. Amen. amen. Woo, hallelujah. I'm excited. I don't know about you. So grab your Bibles. Yeah. And say it like I mean it. Amen. All right. And this is what he says. This is my Bible. I am what he says I am. I have what he says I have. I can do what he says I can do today. I'll be talking with God. I fully confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. We're changing from glory to glory. We're yes. changing from day to day. Yes. Amen. If you're not, again, it's time to get saved. Yes. Amen. So he's not here. He is risen. Praise you, Jesus. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Yes. I took the end and I turned that into an O. So it's a Sunday. Yeah. It's a Son of God day. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Feliz Dia de Resurrección. Woo. We're going to have these scriptures but i'm just going to give them to you right now but it says okay. he defeated yes. death hell and the grave yes death final call uh -huh. he would not obey That's he's it. not there anymore you know That's right. and we're gonna oh man it's exciting because when they went to the tomb it was open yes and it says he's empty he's risen he's gone where is he everybody wants to know but nobody has an answer, amen? Yes. It's seated at the right hand of the Father. Uh -huh. A place of authority. A yeah. place uh, uh, where he's sitting there uh, interceding for us. Yes. Praying for us. You think he's forgotten about you? Uh-uh. We forgot about him. Yeah. We forget yeah. about him because there's so many things and so many distractions mm -hmm. that we can just easily forget about him. Yeah. But you know, if you have relationship, you'll remember. Yes. And you'll spend time with him. Amen. Because yeah. he wants to spend time with you. That's it. He sacrificed. He allowed himself to be sacrificed so he could so we could have everlasting life. So that we can spend time with him. So he's not forgotten about us. We've forgotten about him. Yeah. It's time we change that. Amen. We can make a difference. Yeah. We can make a change. Jesus is the reason for this resurrection Sunday. Yes. Amen. There's all kinds of seasons. You know, hey, Christmas. Jesus is the reason for, for Christmas. Jesus is the reason for, for Thanksgiving. Do you only thank Him on Thanksgiving Day? No. You thank Him every day. Do yes. you only think about Him on, on Christmas? It's not just about toys and Santa Claus. It's about Jesus. Yes. Amen. 
praise God, being born. Yes. And on Easter Sunday or Resurrection Sunday, it's about yes. Jesus yes. raising from the dead, yes. rising from the dead. Amen. Yes. So praise God, He is the reason for the resurrection season. Amen. The blood He shed and the life He gave for us to be saved. Yes. Amen. And I'm gonna, I, I know this is going to shock a whole lot of you. If nobody's ever told you, then mark this down. Yeah. Salvation is free. Uh -huh. And all you have to do yes, is confess it, is. it with your mouth and receive Him. Amen. Yes. Receive Him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. He paid the price. I, 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 I wrote it like this. He paid it all in full. Yes. Amen. And He paid a debt He didn't owe. Yeah. And I owe a debt I cannot pay. Yeah. So guess what? Whether you believe it or not, one day you're gonna stand before him and uh -huh. he, you're gonna find out you belong to him. But you chose the world instead of him. Amen. It's time yeah. that you get it right before you go up. Because yes. I wanna go up, I don't wanna go down. Amen. I make the choice, and you need to make that choice yourself. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Resurrection Sunday is not about Easter bunnies, <laughs> Easter eggs. I'm sorry I busted your there you <laughs> This is about celebrating the risen, our risen Lord, Jesus yeah. Christ. I said, I have to put this down. The Lamb of God. You yeah. know what Lamb of God means? It means Cordero de Dios. Mm -hmm. That's the Lamb of God. I have to put my name in there too. <laughs> Praise God. And Cordero de Dios, he's rose from the dead. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. That's what... Easter, that's what Resurrection Sunday is all about. Yes, it is. Celebrating our risen Savior. Yes. Nobody wants this to happen, especially Satan. Oh. Amen. He tried to find all kinds of ways to get rid of baby Jesus. Yeah. And he told the wise man, hey, if you find him, come back this way and tell me where he's at so I can go worship him too. No. No. He just wanted to know where he was yeah. so he can go and take care of him, you know. Yeah. Kill but no, they went the other way because the angel of the Lord told them which way to go. Don't go back that way. Back that <laughs> Come way. on now. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to tell you this. We won't keep you long. <laughs> I know you have an Easter meal waiting. And so do I. I have a T-bone steak ready for me. <laughs> so just ease up, okay? <laughs> uh, I have to tell you this just to loosen you up some. But you know, the third graders, the teacher was telling the, the, the third graders about Jesus being crucified and put on the tomb, a tomb. He said, man, he was there for three days. And then she says, what do you think Jesus says when he comes out of there for three days now? And right. little Mary in the back raised her hand, jumped up. And of course, the teacher had a call on Mary and said, yes, Mary. So what did Jesus say when he came out of the tomb for being there, laying there for three days? She says, ta-da! <laughs> 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 so loosen up. <laughs> Ta -da! You know, you can say that on a daily basis. <laughs> you know why? Because your first miracle each and every day is when you open your eyes. Amen. When yes. you open your eyes, man, this is a miracle. You didn't have to wake up, but you woke up. Yes. And you know, when you wake up, the first thing you say is, Ta -da! <laughs> Here I am, Lord. <laughs> Praise God. Little Mary was excited. You know what? Sometimes we need to get excited for him. Yes. And, yes. and do and say things. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Like, yes. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Ta <-da. Yes. laughs> you know what that means? That means, Lord, I'm excited to be here. Yes. Yes. He was excited to get out of that tomb. Yes, he was. All right. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Little Mary leaped up to her feet and shouted excitedly. Mm. It's what we need to do. Excitingly. Mm -hmm. Ta da! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Resurrection of Jesus Christ was indeed a ta da. You know? Yes. Praise God. Guess what? The disciples, yes, they were excited. Yeah. It's the others uh -huh. that were not excited. That's right. Because now we can't explain. Uh -uh. And they're still trying to explain. Uh -huh. But the, you know, Get in the word of God and find out what it says about it. Yes. Amen. Because everybody going to try to tell you something else. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. No, find out what the word of God says about yes. it. Yes. Amen. Woo. Come on now. 
Believers can ex uh, celebrate his resurrection daily, yes. not just on Resurrection Sunday or Easter Sunday, but on a daily basis. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up another day with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm excited to be with you. I'm excited to serve you. Mm -hmm. mm, do we say that? Do we say that when we go to work? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to be there. Mm -hmm. You know, I spent 25 years in the military, and I was excited about being there. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God is a good thing. I like that. Celebrate with an attitude of gratitude. We have a sign in the back of, as you walk in that says, you know, each day celebrate with a, with gratitude mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Thank you, Lord, for giving me this day to serve you. Mm -hmm. Not just because, you know, hey, well, you know, uh, I know I've said this so many times, but uh, we drag all week long, you know, until Friday. And then we wake up and then we say, thank God it's Friday and the weekend is coming. Well, what about Monday through Friday or Saturday? You know, well, well Monday through Thursday. You celebrate with an attitude of thanksgiving, remembering Jesus is the reason for the resurrection season. Remembering He is our Lord, our living and victorious Savior. Yes. Our, our King. Amen. He's King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Yes. Amen. Remembering he paid the price in full. He didn't forget anything. If you go on somewhere or if you heard somebody say, well, Jesus didn't do it all. There's this other thing. Then you know what you need to do? <laughs> you need to get away from there. Yeah. <laughs> you need to get away from there. And it's so important that you know the truth because yeah. the truth is going to set, set you free from yeah. all these people saying there's more to it. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you about it and it's going to make me look big. It's going to make me look good. No. There's nothing else. He paid it all in full. Yes, it's paid. Yes. It's paid. It's a done thing. Yes. Amen. So done praise you. God. You know what we do? We celebrate a risen Savior. Yes. And that's what something we, we need to remember. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Uh, remember and we can uh, receive Him. Salvation. Yes. Amen. Receive Him. We have everlasting life with Him. Yes. Amen. We need to remember these things. Amen. Don't put them away. Again, He is not here. He is risen. Yes. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Keep going, Carmen. Mm -hmm. Resurrection Sunday. The day that changed everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> everything changed. You know, your life can change too. Change is good. And you know what? Yes. Now I'm serving him. Now I am his instead yes. of the world's. Right. I can please God and not please the world. Yeah. Amen. Everything will change. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. You know, when you had a spiritual birth, people mm -hmm. see you and say, you're the same person I see every day. But inside, I had a spiritual yes. awakening. Yes. Inside, I am born again. Mm -hmm. I'm a new creature in Christ. We're going to be talking about that later. Keep going. Here he is. He is risen. Death could not hold him. <laughs> Death tried to hold him. But no, he went and fulfilled what he had to do. You know, just because he was gone three days and three nights, he just didn't lay there. That's right. Amen. Remember, he's spirit man. Yes. We have a soul and we live in this body. Mm -hmm. But his body laid there. But he was gone. He went to hell. Amen. And we're going to have scripture in a minute about he took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. Yes. From the enemy. <laughs> and he walked through there and ain't nothing they could do. That's it. Amen. Ain't nothing they could do. That's it. So rejoice in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Wishing you a blessed and joyful Easter or yes. resurrection Sunday. Amen. Keep going. Yes. Man, I like these. Jesus Christ, our Lord, is risen. How many can say their God is risen? <laughs> no one. None. Nobody. Zero. Keep going. An angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was what? Crucified. Crucified. He is not here. He has risen. Yes. Just as he said, Matthew 28, 5 and 6. Just as he said. So it's very important that we pay attention and listen and meditate on the Word of God. The Bible yes. says to renew your mind with what? The Word of God. Amen. You know, the world tries to pollute and, 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 and distract 
all your thinking uh -huh. by putting things, seeing things, hearing things. Yeah. But we renew those things yeah. and get those things out by spending time in yeah. the Word. Amen. Yeah. Use the Word to renew your mind with the Word of God. Yeah. You say, I know what you're looking for. You're looking for Jesus. Uh-huh. On a daily basis, you know what? You don't have to look for him. That's right. <laughs> He's always there. He's always there. You ever read the poem, uh, the poem of the uh, footprints? Uh -huh. Or the sand, sand prints? The footprints. Amen. Yeah. The footprints, yeah. Footprints. He was there. It's called footprints. Footprints, okay. So, he was there. He said, why did you leave me? All I see is one footprint. He said, yeah, that was me. I was carrying you. So he never goes anywhere. He's there with you. Do you open the door or answer the phone when he calls no. say oh no not him again no. <laughs> hang up don't pick up mm -hmm. keep on i like these do not be afraid for i know that you seek jesus who was crucified he is not here for he has risen, he is risen. as he said amen matthew 25 5 through 8 he has risen amen hallelujah man i like these he is not here he says he is not here he's risen matthew 28 6 an angel says, yes, an angel said, he is not here for he is risen. As he says, come see the place where the Lord lays. Yes. The Gospels record this. I was supposed to tell you this. Four Gospels give an account of this. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Mark 16, 6 says this. But he said to them, do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him? <laughs> First of all, they wrote his humongous stone mm -hmm. in front so that nobody could just go and roll it off. Right. Amen. And they put guards there. <laughs> I mean, they, they took every precaution they could. Yeah. But still, it happened. It was yeah. going to happen. And yeah. it did. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he went. Keep going. Why do you uh, look for the living among the dead? Mm -hmm. He is not here. He is risen. This is Luke's account, twenty-four, uh, chapter twenty-four, verses five and six. Why are you looking for the living among the dead? <laughs> he is not dead. He's alive, mm -hmm. and we need to remember this. Amen. Yes. He's no longer there. <laughs> keep going. I'm looking for. Keep keep going. Oh, go ahead. Okay. He took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. Revelations 118. Mm -hmm. He says, I am he who lived and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Yes. I, amen. I have the keys of hell and death. Mm -hmm. Amen. Satan took, he went to hell and took him back. Mm -hmm. He's got him now. And he's rose after he spent time with his disciples. He went. Well, he first he went to the Father, but they came and appeared to them. And he did some more miracles. Yeah. And then he was taken up. He says, before I go, he says, I'll send the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But he was taken up. And the Bible says he's seated at the right hand of God now. Mm -hmm. I remember, it's a place of authority. Yes. Amen. And he's interceding for us, mm -hmm. his people, his children. You are his child. You know, don't go around just calling yourself a sinner. Mm. If you've confessed Jesus, you're going to save you. He's your heavenly father, and I'm his child. Mm -hmm. I may do wrong, but still, I confess, click, get it out, yes. release it, let it go, and he's still my heavenly father, and I'm still his child. Amen. Yes. See that the right hand of the Father, the place of authority, interceding for us. Uh, keep going. Uno más. There you go. Ha! Might as well show you. Mm. A uh, picture of the tomb. I've been there. I've seen it. Amen. I've had a privilege to be there. It was an honor to be there. I, I feel so uh, blessed to be there. I've been to Israel and I've been to the tomb. That's one of the places we went to. But the uh, tomb is empty. Yep. Amen. Keep on. He's not here. He's risen. Amen. When they saw. He's not there, and they saw the the club, the uh, wrappers, uh, the wrappings on, on the uh, on the floor. Yeah. But the one that was over his face, 
He folded it real nice and neat. And he laid it down. Amen. And their customs is when you're invited to somebody's house. And if they just water it up and throw it. That means I ain't coming back. <laughs> Your food's no good. <laughs> no. But if you fold it back real nice and neat. That means I am coming back. So guess what? I told you this last week. For flu season. For storm seasons. For any kind of seasons. For any bad seasons. Uh -huh. uh, they, they, they warn us. And we prepare ourselves for all these things. Mm -hmm. The Bible's been telling us about Jesus coming back. Mm -hmm. But we do nothing about it. Nothing. Amen. We need to be prepared. Yes. And you need to make sure that you're right with him. Yes. Amen. That you're walking to walk and talking to talk. Mm -hmm. Watch your words. Watch your actions. Yeah. Amen. And prepare yourselves to receive him when he comes. Mm -hmm. When that trumpet sounds, you know, I want to be... On the first load. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to be gone. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. So he's not here. He's risen. Luke 24, 6. All the gospels give an account. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Jesus paid what? Oh, yeah. Paid yeah. it all. Isaiah 53, 5. Mm -hmm. He says he paid it all. And then he says, by his stripes, you were healed. Amen. Yeah. By his stripes, you were healed. Why? Because he took the stripes on his back. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Keep going, Carmen. There we go. This is the one. I am he that lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And have the keys of hell mm -hmm. and death. Revelation 118. Yeah. He's got the keys now. Amen. Amen. He's, he's got the keys. Well, where am I going to spend my life? Mm. It's not his choice. It's your yes. choice. Yes. Do I want to spend eternity with him or I want to spend eternity in him mm. you can't blame nobody else and nobody else going to be there but you and him right okay you can't say well all the people that I hang out with you know they're going to be there with me no <laughs> <laughs> my family's no. going to be there no no mom and daddy going to be there mm. you're going to be there by yourself that's it amen but you have to make this choice now make the right choice amen, amen. praise God keep going all right, here's where we are. Romans 8, 8 34. Who is he who uh, condemns? Is it Christ who died and forevermore is also risen? Mm -hmm. Who is even at the right hand of God mm -hmm. who also makes intercession for us? Yeah. I just want you to grab this, Romans 8, 34. And there's a lot of the scriptures that say where Jesus is. As he is at the right hand of the Father, mm -hmm. interceding for us. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Yeah. One more. Here we go. Ephesians 1 and 20 says, Which he worked in Christ, who he raised him from the dead, and seated him at the right hand in heavenly places. Yes. Amen. Woo, man. All these tells us what Jesus is. He's at the right hand of the Father. Yeah. Colossians 3 and 1 says, If then, go ahead, one more. I'm just going one for one here. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are yeah. above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Just a few of them, just to let you know what the Word of God says, that Jesus is at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Yeah. This one says, again, the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? <laughs> I am you see in caps mm -hmm. said Jesus and you will seek the son of man seated at the right hand of the mighty one and coming on the clouds of heaven and that's in Mark 14 61 and 62 amen he's coming so prepare yourselves mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to receive him Lord I thank you that you're coming yes. amen some of us may still be alive when, when he comes back some of us may be gone but that's okay hallelujah praise Amen. God I want to give you this one incident where the Bible says Jesus stood up mm. and that's found in uh, Acts 7 55 and 56 of the NIV he's talking about Stephen Amen. says so Stephen full of the Holy Spirit looked up to heaven and saw they, they went to stone him mm -hmm. 
And Stephen looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God. And Jesus standing at the right hand of God and said, and look, he says, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's one incident where Jesus stood up to receive Stephen. And he, when he looked up, he saw. And you know what? He's repeating these things. He's saying these things. And the people around him, I'm sure, could hear what he was saying. He saw the Son of God. Amen. He saw the Son of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He's not here. He is risen. I had the privilege to go and enjoy the trip to Israel. I've been to the tomb and I've seen it. I've been inside. I've been outside. The tomb is empty, as the Bible says. The Word tells us He has risen. The world... The world has seen, but they can't explain it. <laughs> they can't explain it. Nope. To the world, Resurrection or Easter is just another holiday. Mm -hmm. Three-day weekend, lots of fun, nope. no work, time off, nope. party time, entertainment, food, barbecues, travel time, vacations. Mm -hmm. Easter break is now a spring break. Mm -hmm. They don't even want to talk about Easter. That's right. They don't want the word to be shared. In, in, in our schools. Amen. They took Easter off so yeah. they could call now a spring break. Mm -hmm. It used to be an Easter break. Yeah. To believers, Resurrection Sunday is Jesus rising from the dead. Jesus yeah. paying the price in full. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world yeah. that He gave, that He sacrificed His yeah. only yeah. Son so that we may have everlasting life. Yes. Amen. So, God loves you. Jesus loves you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And we're talking about, if you ever studied about love, this love is called agape love. Yes. It's unconditional yes. love. That's the kind of love God and Jesus has for you. Mm -hmm. Unconditional love. Agape yes. love. Amen. Amen. Yes. We have conditional love. Yes. And there's different types of love. Mm -hmm. Yes. Praise God. Celebrate the resurrection not only on a, uh, uh, once a year, but daily. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Victory over death, hell, and the grave. Salvation, a free gift. Romans. Let's go, let's go to Romans 10, 9, and 10. We, we don't go there too often. But Romans 10, 9, and 10. See what it says. Mm -hmm. Book of Romans, chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. It's right after the book of Acts. <laughs> Romans chapter 10 and you can highlight your Bible personalize your Bible mm -hmm. underline it, whatever but still, mark it up Amen. Romans 10, 9 and 10 it says that if thou shalt confess with what? Your mouth. Your mouth. thy mouth, Your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised them from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. saved. Amen. Don't let nobody else tell you, well, if you're good enough, or if you pay, you can pay your way, or there's other no. ways to receive this. Be no, the Bible tells you how. Amen. Yeah. He tells you how, and then it says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, yeah. and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Yes. Yeah. But you have to confess with your mouth. Yes. Amen. You have to confess with your mouth. Mm -hmm. Say it. And mean it. Say, Lord, Lord Jesus, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And receive it. So praise God. We don't say yeah. that enough. Praise and you know, each one of us can lead somebody to Christ. Yes. All they have to do is confess him as Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. Oh, I lost my spot. Where was I? <laughs> New beginnings for a new and better life. Mm. Let's go to St. Corinthians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> St. Corinthians chapter 5. Uh, St. Corinthians is uh, right after 1st first first, Corinthians. First, first Corinthians. <laughs> 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 you can't throw us off. <laughs> <laughs> really, if you read this all the way to uh, verse 21. Let's start at uh, verse 17. A new beginning. The old is out. Yeah. The new is in. Remember, people are still going to see the same you. But inside, I had a spiritual birth. Yeah. 
I am reborn. <laughs> I am reborn. Amen. Here's what he says. Therefore, if any man be in yes. Christ, what? He is, a new he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. And what's the enemy try to do? And people try to do. They try to hold your past against you. I know you. I know what you've done. And all things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given us the ministry yeah, of reconciliation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know, God has called you and yeah. God has placed you here and you have a calling in your life to yes. bring others to Christ. Amen. Amen. So watch your words and your actions because people are watching. Mm -hmm. Okay? But you are responsible mm -hmm. bringing people to Christ. And verse 19 says, To wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses against for Christ. Mm -hmm. Jose is an ambassador for Christ. You know what an ambassador does? We're his mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. So who does he use this to, uh, to um, share his word? Yeah. Us. Yes. You have the mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. He's the head, we're the body. And he uses his body, us. We're the church. Mm -hmm. And he uses his church, us, you, to go and bring the good news to a lost world. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Come on now. Amen. And so God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ uh, instead be ye reconciled to God. In verse 21. For he hath uh, made us to be sin for made us. Him. Made him to be sin for us. Who knew no sin. Yes. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Yes. So you have a calling on your life. Nobody's never told you this, and you don't know this because you don't have a relationship. Uh -huh. If you have a relationship, you know. You have a calling. You've yes. been anointed. You've been equipped with everything needed to fulfill what God has called you yes. to do. Yes. You know, but a lot of times we try to copy mm -hmm. others, and that's not what, he didn't make you to be a copy of anybody right. else. He made you to be an original. Yeah. And you know, when you communicate with him and spend time with him and get to know him as your Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. you can be the best original one there is. Yes. Amen. Big or small, it doesn't Amen. matter. I'm serving my God. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know we're talking about he's risen, but we need to know these things too. Because we have ministry. Because we have responsibility. Yeah. They taught us that this is school. You know how you spell ministry? Mm -hmm. Of course. M I know it's Ministry is spelled P-E-O-P-L-E. -E. Mm. Ministry is spelled people. Mm. And everywhere you go, there's people. people. <laughs> and you can't get away from people. people. <laughs> and people, if they're not saved, people need Christ. Yes, they do. Amen. Amen. So they need to make a change. Yes. And who's going to bring the good news to them? Me. Me. You. you. Amen. That's you. That's where you come in. <laughs> and Lord, just nudging you to hey, share Jesus with him. Mm -hmm. And you say, not me. <laughs> I ain't good enough. Mm. The Bible says we can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens Christ. us. And you are good enough. Yeah. When you have relationship, when you have commitment, when you surrender all of yourself to him, you know that I can do all things all through things. Christ who Amen. strengthens me. Praise Amen. God. Regardless of what the world says, you're not qualified yes. for. You are qualified. Yeah. Because he qualifies you. <laughs> he didn't call the qualified. He qualifies the call. Yes. And you've yes, been called. So remember this. Yes. You can't hide that. Like I said, one day you're going to stand before him. Mm -hmm. And he says, you didn't do anything with what I gave mm -hmm. you. Well, I didn't know I had anything. Mm. Remember the, the, the story about the talents, about the gifts. Yes. <laughs> he's, he's gifted us. Yes, Amen. yes. <laughs> So I want to do my best for him. Yes. We're talking today about he's risen. Yes. God gave his best. Jesus gave his best. Now I need to give my best. Yes. You know, we give our best, you know, when, when we're in the world, we give our best when we go to the game and jump and shout. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he don't reach you from the outside. He, he reach you from the inside. Yes. And even know what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. So... You know, it's just, just, just know, surrender, and give yourself totally to yes. Him. <laughs> Let the past go. Yes. And that's one of the main things the enemy uses is uh -huh. your past. But you know what? I don't live there no more. That's it. I have a new address. My new address is with Him. 
So, hey, you're talking about somebody else. Yeah. That person is no longer with us. Worldly gods and worldly heroes like uh, Muhammad, uh, Buddha, mm -hmm. Allah, Confucius, Hitler, Joseph Smith, Jim Jones, mm -hmm. David Koresh. Oh, all these still dead, still buried, <laughs> never rose. Oh. Hey, Amen. We have proof. Yeah. You can go to grave sites. They still there. Mm. But my Jesus is rose. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's rose. Jesus died, but he rose on the third day. Mm -hmm. And we serve a risen Savior. We yeah. rose a risen King. And we ra <laughs> serve a risen Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Psalms 124. We've talked about this all the time. Psalms 124, uh, 118, 24. It's first miracle every day when I wake up. Yes. Amen. To say, this is the day the Lord has made. And I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. You know, yeah. it just doesn't wake up for you to say, oh my God. I can tell immediately who your God is. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's Monday. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to say anything. Well, I already know who you serve. Uh -huh. <laughs> you serve self. Yes. Or you serve the world. Mm. But you know, when you wake up, <laughs> I guarantee you when Jonah woke, woke up in the belly of that whale, <laughs> I say, oh my God, <laughs> tell me where to go. Mm. Tell the fish where to take me oh, and I'll God. do it for you. <laughs> well, he don't have to do us like this, you know. Just know that he loves you and what he did for us. He rose again. Yes, he he rose so that we can have a uh, attitude of gratitude and say, yeah. Lord, you know, I'll do it. You know, when you wake up, David woke up and he saw a giant in front of him. He didn't say, oh, no, I'll run the other way. No. You notice that uh, there's no armor in the back. <laughs> so don't turn your back because you're not protected. <laughs> the armor is in the front. <laughs> and David attacked his giant and we need to do the same thing because yeah. David knew his, his, his God yes. and we need to know our God when we know our God and we know we can do all things through Christ things. greater is he that sent me than he that is in the world, in the world. amen wow. and he made you to overcome no matter what the situation is right, Ooh, right. come on now <laughs> and this one John 14 6 says Jesus told him I am keep, keep, keep going next one He raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand of the Father. Mm -hmm. Heavenly places. Go ahead. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth at the right hand of God. Man, we know where you're at. Thank uh -huh. you, Lord. One more. All right. Psalms 1, 110. 1. Uh -huh. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Mm -hmm. That's what our enemies are. At Jesus' feet. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I was going to read to you. Uh, oh, John 14, 6 says, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. Yes. Right. And you can share this with anybody. That's it. Know where it's found. It's found in John 14, 6. Yes. Jesus says, I am the way. Or you could say the only way. Uh -huh. <laughs> the truth and the life. No right. one can come to the Father except through me. That's it. There's no other way to heaven except through Jesus Christ. Have you received yes. him as your Lord and Savior? Mm -hmm. If you haven't, it's time that yes. you do. Amen. Because there's no other way to heaven. You came by your way. There's no other name but the name of Jesus. Amen. Why was the stone rolled away? <laughs> I know. Thank you for asking. The stone was not rolled away for Jesus to come out. That's right. Amen. The stone was rolled away mm -hmm. so that the Amen. women, so that the people and other witnesses could see mm -hmm. that the tomb was now empty. Yeah. Amen. It's gone. I say, oh my God, where is uh, Jesus? He's gone. And you see the wrappings on the, on the, on the, on the, on the floor. Mm -hmm. The wrappings are there. But the one over his face is folded nice and neat. The tomb's empty. It made visible to all. Prove that he's not here. 
The uh, empty tomb is the greatest evidence for the resurrection of Jesus. He is alive today forevermore. Amen? Yes. So critics have tried to explain have not been able to all this time. Thank you, Father, and thank you, Jesus. Again, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, whoever yes. believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. We're going to be closing, but I'll give you an assignment. Go to the book of John, chapter 20, and read verses 1 through 31. Amen. It talks about the empty tomb. Mm -hmm. Amen. Verse 7 says, well, verse 6 says, that, then uh, Simon Peter arrived and went inside and he, he noticed the linen wrappings laying but verse 7 says while the cloth that had covered Jesus's head was folded up and laying apart from the other wrappings then the disciples who had reached the tomb first also went in and they saw and believed yeah why don't you if you never received them why don't you read and believe what the word of God says Amen. Not what people have said, mm -hmm. but what the Word of God says. This is the truth that's going to set you free from traditions. It's going to set you free from uh, what people have said. Amen. And that's what we need to do. Receive Him as our Lord and Savior. Amen. So, Father, yeah. we just thank you for the opportunity to share your Word. And we thank you for uh, Jesus being alive and yes. risen and yes. being there for us at the right hand, interceding for us, Father God. We thank you. We praise you, Father God. For those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, if you've never accepted Christ, why not today on Resurrection Sunday? All you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. And start a new life. Start a new day with Him. Yes. Knowing that you can do all things through Him. All things. We've got some training, some teachings to do. Mm -hmm. Hook up with a church where you can hook up and yes. learn. Amen. Get you a Bible. Buy you a Bible. <laughs> I, I went to the thrift store the first time and got me one. Amen. Or somebody, you know, Lord could talk to somebody to get you one. Yes. Amen. Amen. Still, <laughs> I don't care if you bought it at the thrift store. It's not going to degrade the That's Bible. Right. It's That's not right. going to make it any less. That's it. Amen. There's a lot of great people that donated their Bibles to the thrift store. Or other places, or given our people have given me Bibles, you know, used Bibles, or new Bibles. Yes. Still, you gotta do something with it. You gotta open it up, yes. read it, and get it in you. Yes. You know, the Bible says, out of the abundance of your heart, your spirit, yes. you, you, you know, I, it, living waters, living, living words, are gonna flow out of you. Mm -hmm. And it's the word that's gonna make the difference. It's the word of God that's gonna make the difference and take you through. Amen. So let's remember that. And I know, Lynn, I just pray. We prayed, but we'll pray again. Father, we just thank you. Those of you that, yes. that are listening, those of you that are watching. Yes, thank you, Lord. And you're going through some kind of sickness. You know, stroke, heart attacks, whatever sickness it is, spirit of infirmity. By Jesus stripes, you are healed. Amen. And we speak to those spirits of infirmity, of sickness to come out in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. Amen. And leave. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. yes. There's no room for Amen. sickness in this body. <clears throat> we just speak, Father God, for miracles. We speak that by Jesus' stripes, Lynn and all those that are listening, all those yes. that are watching, are healed from the crown of their head yes. to the soles of their feet, Father God. And we thank you for these miracles to happen right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So praise God. I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know about you. But on a daily basis, you know, don't yes. let don't let Easter or Resurrection Sunday come and go, and, and and treat tomorrow just like a you know a regular day. Mm -hmm. No, every day, every day, treat it as you know you're a child of God, mm -hmm. and He's your living God. He's Amen. So praise God. Time to give. If you're watching or listening, would like to give your tithe, your offerings, you can still do so. Just go to our website, NBC Big Ben. 
dot com and hit that donate button if you're going to mail it to us nbc po box 252 Marfa, texas 79843 and we thank you for joining us happy resurrection sunday to each and every one of you we love you and god bless you amen